of the other striking things about these strikes is that it's not representing large numbers of workers exactly. at the workplace. Does that make it then more of a kind of public opinion pressure campaign than a real workplace organizing effort? And does it substitute for actually organizing the majority of workers to vote for a union? Say? It certainly doesn't substitute for having a union in the workplace. It absolutely does not. Um, it's similar to what's been going on at Walmart, right, where you have one or two workers in each location um, going out on strike. The Walmart workers have just gone on their first sort of prolonged strikes, but mostly these have been one-day affairs. Um, the workers are walked back in the next day with community members, um, elected officials. One of my favorite stories out of this comes from the first strike here in New York. Um, a Wendy's on the Fulton Mall in Brooklyn told one of the workers that she was fired after she had gone on strike, which is protected activity. Um, and she called their organizer, who called his boss, who showed up with reinforcements, including city council member Jamani Williams. And the organizer who saw this happen, I sadly wasn't there, has the story of standing on the sidewalk, seeing Jamani pull up in his car, jump out, toss his keys to this organizer, and run into the store, where they occupied the store, singing, dancing, chanting, until the store called the cops. They then were escorted out to the sidewalk, where they continued to sing, dance, and chant until the store took their worker back. So this really does speak to a very different sort of array of tactics. Right. Um, talk about that array and, and what it means to you. I'm thinking of organizations like the Restaurant Opportunities Center, Rock, uh, part organizing effort, part legal attack squad, right. suing people for suing employers for back wages, part kind of startup effort, encouraging groups of workers to start co-ops. Is this? Yeah. A, a union? Is this a labor movement? What is this? I mean, it's a labor movement. It's not a union, right? And these are very different things, and they've always been very different things. And what we're seeing in this country, which has been pointed out by, I don't know how many people, quite a few, that unions in the traditional sense are fading, that the NLRB framework for organizing is less and less useful because employers have figured out how to get around it. The National Labor um, Relations Board. Right, and also um, in states where public workers have the right to collective bargaining at all, um, we've seen the Scott Walkers of the world attack it. So what you're seeing in any place where there's something positive going on in the labor movement, you're seeing this sort of social movement organizing. Mm -hmm.